Now, let's, uh, the first thing, next Thursday, you will have a social study exam. Next okay. Thursday, yes. I will open it from 1 a.m. Uh, sorry, 10, 10, 10 a.m. Next Thursday, 10, it's, uh, 10 it's not 25. Uh, 28. 25, uh, uh, it was yesterday. So if you need to celebrate the, uh, the okay, but the but the hukuma no, said it will be the government, the government, the government, the government, government. Yes, yes, gave you a vacation. Uh, a Miss, vacation? are we going to come back to school? Yes, inshallah, I, I believe so. English so soon. Story. No, Miss. So soon, so soon, but I don't know when. Uh, type, can I let me finish? You have the English, sorry, the social study exam next Thursday. I will open it from 10 a.m. Fine? This is number one. The the exam will, inc I post by the way. And Till I when? I will, uh, no, I will not tell you. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you check the info. Why? Check the info. Check the info of the, of the quiz. Anyway, the. the okay, miss, when, when, it, when is it? I said Thursday, 10 a.m. Tribu Mutafayal. <laughs> okay, miss, and how we have uh, online sessions at uh, 10? It's a vacation, smart. You would not have any kind of Okay, yeah. Type. This is the first thing. Uh, the exam will include the bodies of water and the uh, the earth. The thing that you have studied during the second quarter. Miss, can I say a small thing? Quickly, yes. Hmm. In vacation, no one will uh, wake up at 10. Khalas, okay. Uh, don't wake up. Don't have your exam. What should I do? Yes, it's true. Closer, closer. Miss. It will close one, yeah, miss. It will close at the end of the day. Is that, is that yeah. good oh, for no. you? <clears throat> Suits you now? Yes. yes. Okay. 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 Is there anything? One trial. Like, uh... Listen, listen. Mute yourself and listen. One trial. One trial. And it will last. I... So far, I think one one hour. I'm not sure. Maybe less than an hour, but it will it will be one trial. But the next thing, next Sunday, which is thirty the thirty first of January, we will have the uh, a quiz for what we have studied this week only. We will have a quiz for what we have okay. studied this week this week on. I will add for you the things. I I mean that you you don't have to study the thing before that. Okay, this is for next Sunday. And at the same time, it will be online quiz, of course. Sunday, also the 31st of January, we are going to start at quarter three. We will start quarter three. How? Oh, we didn't even take the test. Like that. Quarter. <laughs> What's how? What's how? <laughs> like <laughs> that. We <laughs> haven't uh, even had the, the exam. Okay, when is the exam? The, okay, okay. Calm down. Calm 21. Down. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Most probably, your, your, your second quarter exam, it will be... 21 maybe you will have it here at school i'm not sure i'm not sure it depends and depends so in any updates <laughs> maybe yes one hour one trial it depends on the um, the pandemic case uh, and also depends mm. what if the, the 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 minister the educational minister will decide to start right, the so. school back or not so it depends. Anyway, we are working together. Where, where, where are we going? We are together yeah, miss. meeting each other every day. So I'm, yeah, going miss. To tell you the, I'm going to tell you the update. Can, the, can someone okay. learn something? Can people learn something? Don't interrupt me, please. Okay. Yes, Muhammad, what do you want? The quarter exam will not be the next week. No. But we are going to study the, the third quarter. And okay. by the way, by the way, the third, this, the third quarter, the, the thing that we are, we are going to start with, are going to be included in the exam. <laughs> Miss, uh, for when shall we study for the social exam? Uh, Is what? there a PowerPoint on the LMS? Of course, the recorded session and the PowerPoint. You are not, okay. you are not checking the, the social study uh, page at all? <laughs> no. No, yes, I'd like to be honest. Now that's it. Can I start? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, one more thing. Uh, you will have today a homework of the thing that you are going to study. You are going to study the, the, uh, the words that end with the suffix lum, or had the, had the, the root lum within it. 
So you will have a homework dependent on those things. Uh, at the weekend, you have three days, you will have the, the vocabulary of the life of Pi. If you remember, we studied the text, but we didn't practice the words. So I will record the video for you where I pronounce the word with their meaning and the synonym and antonym. And you have exercise, so you have to answer it. Uh, and you are going to submit it Saturday or Sunday. Okay, you, you check the date anyway. We have studied the word that had the root, the letter root, which is lum. Do you remember this word? What was it? Luminous. Yes, that's right. What's the meaning of luminous? Shiny and bright. Something shiny. And uh, where did I did we... the homework, Miss. Thank I you. Submitted yesterday. Okay, thank you. Now, Zena said that we have studied the word luminous and it means shiny. Now, Zena, don't answer. Uh, uh, the word luminous, the, one of the poets was using it to describe what? If you remember. Hmm. Do I have to answer? No, no, don't answer. Okay. Hmm. We have here, we have here almost 29, 29 person can answer. Luminous. We used, we have studied this word in which poem and what were what were the 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 poets using it to describe? We am. Yes. Do you want to answer? I feel that you want to answer. I'm not sure. Say. No uh, is it shining? Where? Shining. Yes. yes. Okay. Zena said it means shiny. Uh, where? Okay. In which poem did we study it? Luminous, Judy, Hassan, Hannah. Yes. Yeah, of course, I'm not. I'm not asking about your health. I need an answer. Four. Five. <laughs> For what? Really? What the really? Question? It made me yes laugh. That's not. Uh, luminous. Luminous. Yes. Sir. In which poem did we study it? Uh, I don't know. Kamal, Hana Etribi, Iman. Miss yes, Lamas miss. means giving of light. Yes, Miss. Yes, it's what part of the speech is it? Luminous. What so, part of the speech? Adjective. Adjective. Okay, Kamal, do you remember the, the poet used the word luminous to describe what? No, I don't remember which one, but it was one of the poetry. One of the poems. One of the poems. Okay, Nadine. It wasn't the writer, I to make it closer, it wasn't the writer. Do you remember the writer, the, the, the one who heard his, his daughter typing on, in her room and he mentioned the stories for something happened in their house? The bird, the starling, he described the starling by being luminous. It was shiny. It yes, had... you have seen it. Yes, I know. I give up. <laughs> yes, I surrender. Okay, so we have within the word luminous, we have this root word lum, and the word lum now means when I when it appears in any word, it give me the word meaning of light, give the the meaning of light. So that the word we are going to study some word that include this uh, this root or this latter root. The start we with example illuminate, illuminate, illuminate means it's a verb and it means to light up. Uh, okay, Amanda Hood, can you read the example? Stay alert, please. So you you just read it. Iman, read. Ahmed Shawi, read. Yes, miss. Yes, again, again. If I call the name and this name didn't answer, I will consider it absent. Yes, um, Ahmed. Okay, read the example, please. A flash of lightning illuminated the house. So it means that this flash of lightning has light up the house. It's a verb. Yes. It's illuminated. We have here the, the root word lum, which means light. And the meaning also have the same meaning. The next one is luminary. Luminary. 
Preliminary, by the way, can act, can act like a noun and a verb. Uh, sorry, adjective. A noun and an adjective. If I use the luminary to describe a person, it's, uh, or as a noun, it's speaking about a, a person who is um, expert, who is smart, uh, who is uh, intelligent. Uh, he is the, he has a great influence in the special area or activity. It means that when he comes to work in a place, he just um, uh, ha make an effective change in this place. Just like whom? Hmm? Just like whom? Don't you know a luminary? Don't you have a luminary in your in your life? It seems. You? Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yes, you are a group of luminaries. <laughs> read nine. <laughs> okay, Habiba Salm, read the example. Habiba Salm. Uh, he was played Habiba. with all great jazz limbs. Have you? Can I say something? Yes. Yesterday I called your name twice and you didn't answer. Yes, miss, my mic was broken. And you didn't say that in the chat then? I didn't know. Okay, so read the example. He was played with all great jazz lim lim luminaries. Luminaries. It means that th those people were... Lumina luminaries. Yes, what the meaning of those were the luminaries? They mean... They were intelligent, they were smart, they were um, uh, effective, they, they have an effective influence, effective influence on their, the thing that they are doing. Expert in playing jazz. Okay? Okay. Thank you. The next word is um, uh, luminescence. Luminescence, it's an adjective. And it means that the thing is brilliant or sparkling. So I can use this word also to describe those people, the jazz uh, player. They wear luminescence. It means that they uh, have an effective uh, or they were experts in the thing that they are doing. Um, if something is producing light also, I would describe it by luminescence. Uh, someone who is very brilliant or smart, I will say that he is luminescence. Something that is sparkling or glowing, I can describe it by saying it's luminescence. Uh, I say, okay, hi, Hannah, can you read the example? A luminescence watch. Yes, so this means that the, the watch is... Miss Wala. Yes, Ali. Yes, Ali. Hmm. I am sorry for joining late uh, because my internet uh, is very bad. Uh, don't worry, don't worry. I, I don't know. This. Don't this. When the watch, when the watch, Hello? when the watch, hey, Kamal, mute yourself. Kamal, mute yourself. When the watch is luminous, luminescence, it means that uh, it uh, it is shiny. It ha it, the, the the watch is so shiny. Give me what the next one. Luminous. The word luminous, luminous. It's um, I I um I didn't find an example for it, but it's a unit. Do you know we have some units to measure something like the uh, centimeter? This is the unit of measuring length, right? The the, the kilometer is a, is a unit of me measuring length too. Uh, lumens, lumens is it's a unit for measuring what the rate of light, the rate of uh, the flow of light. Lumens is a unit we use it to measure the the rate of uh, the flow of light. Luminous, you will find all the words almost the closer to each other. Luminous, also an adjective, and it means that it's shining in the dark. Can you now tell me luminous it um, equal to which word that we have said in the previous previous slide? Hmm. Luminous is so close to which word that we have said in the previous slide. Luminousness. Yes, luminousness. Excellent. And another one. We have another word. Luminary. Again, have have I said luminary? I said luminary. Oh. It's oh. something like this. Yes, I can't remember. <laughs> Luminescence. Something like this. L luminescence. Yes. It yes. Is, yeah, yes. 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 This one. Yes. I said <laughs> luminary. Luminary. It's luminary. a noun and an adjective too. 
preliminary. The verb is eliminate. Like uh, when I say yes, the mother all the time uh, can say that you have eliminated my life when you come to the to you when you when you you were born. You have eliminated our life, meaning that you have light up our life. That's when we were young. Now I I don't believe that they are saying the same thing. I believe so. Okay, so uh, luminous. The I said again, it's an adjective. They painted the wall uh, a luminous green. Can you see how the green color is so light, so bright, so shiny? So uh, luminous is an adjective. Yes. yes. Uh, bioluminescence. Bioluminescence. Can you now guess the uh, the bioluminescence is related to what? Especially, we have here a prefix that may guide us to the word. To the body. Bio, bio. Biology? Yes, it's somehow something related to the biology. Uh, it's an adjective and it means also brilliant and light, but it's to speak about the, um, the, the thing like the creature, like the jellyfish. The jellyfish, as you can see here in the picture, is a bioluminescence, bioluminescence. Bioluminescence, bioluminescence creature. We have luminescence in it, but we have add bio here because because we are speak about creature. So the jellyfish is a bioluminescence creature. The last word is um, um, sorry. The last was uh, luminiferous, and it's also an adjective. Produce or transmit light. You will not use this word a lot, but you may meet it in the in the sheet that I have sent you. But the other words are very important to to study them. You'll find that all of them are having the same pronunciation, so close to each other. Okay. Any question about that? No question. No. No. Let me back. Let me check you. Let me check you. D before you go. Where is it? This one. Not this one. This one? Yeah, this one. Okay. Let me find it. Yes, let's have this word. This one, this word. I need you to fill in the spaces with one of the words here. We have luminous. Luminous, do you remember what they mean of luminous? Hmm? Luminous? Yes. It's the measuring unit of the light? No, the unit. Luminous yes. is the unit that we use to measure the light. Illuminated or illuminated? Uh, enlightened. It's the verb, that's right, it's to the verb. Luminary? Uh, uh, bright. Uh, Nadine only is the one who's answering? I'm Ranim. Uh, Ranim, Ranim. <laughs> Sorry, Ranim is the only one who's answering? Luminary is an adjective and also a noun to, to noun. speak about a person. And luminous? Adjective. Shining. Is the adjective. And the last one is the uh, bioluminescence. It's an adjective, uh, now? but to describe a creature. Okay. Now, yes. Now, but let me pick up the, some people. Muhammad Sabri, I start with you. Muhammad Sabri. Yes. Yes. And number one. Fireflies are a good example of because they they produce their own light yes do you know the fireflies it's a type of fly that um, uh, lighten uh, in the dark people like to keep them in jars <clears throat> especially in the movies and the castle yes so the firefly the fireflies again are a good example of what because they produce, luminous oh. not luminous no remember we are speaking about um, a creature luminous not luminous Luminous is an adjective. Which luminous? Uh, uh, bio, bioluminous. Yes. Huh? Yes. Bio bioluminescence. Excellent. Bioluminescence. Bioluminescence. Say it. Bioluminescence. Bioluminescence. Excellent. Great. Thank you very much. Now I need Kamal. 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 No Kamal. So Bioluminescence. Kamal, the second one. Uh, the bright flashlighting. Uh, 
Laminate the room briefly. Briefly. Yes. Uh, which one so, then? Which one? The one illuminated the world. Kamal, illuminates? This is the first one? No, the second. Illuminate. Yes. You mean illuminate, that's right. The, the A bright flash of lightning illuminated or lighting, lighted up the room briefly, showing the fear on my mother's face. Thank you, Mr. Kamal. Uh, Adam Beher. Yes. Mm -hmm. How are you? Fine. Okay, answer. Many people consider George uh, Washington? Washington. Washington. To be, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. Washington. We don't pronounce the G. Washington. As a greatly influence, influenced his peers in the world of uh, politics. politics. Do you know who is George Washington? No. One of the American presidents. Okay? okay, and um, okay. Uh, he greatly influenced, it means that he affected his peers, the people around him, in the world of politics, in the, it means that in the politics area or field. Word here means field, not word. So which one to, to choose? Uh, luminary is a said. Yes, that's right, excellent, to be a luminary is the noun. Thank you, Adam, excellent. Um, let me pick up some one from the down there. Zainab, can you answer? Zainab, can you answer? Rana? Rana? Okay. Uh, Yuanna? Yuanna? Can you answer, Nabokov? Yes, four? please. Hmm? Yes. Uh... Number three, uh, sorry, number four. Kyle? Can see the time on his... Rest watch. Rest watch at night because the deal is... The dial, the dial. The, the dial is... Uh... Luminous? Look at this watch. Can you see this thing, the round thing inside? Yes. Yeah, this is the dial. And this is the rest watch because I, 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 I wear it on my rest, my rest hand. Can you see it? Yes. So, Kyle or Wala can see the time on her rest watch at night because the dial is. Is luminous. Yes, hey, excellent. Uh, luminous oh, without US. Arabic. Without Arabic, that's right. Luminous. You have pronounced it correctly. It's a luminous, this one. Yes, thank you very much. The last one. Uh, wit. Yes. Yes, can you answer number five? A light bulb that give up. A large number of wouldn't be very good for room with calm. What? I will. Uh, one second. Yes. Hmm. A light bulb that gives off a large number of. Um, luminous. Wouldn't be very good for the room with a calm ambience. You know the light bulb. The light bulb that's uh, uh, it's uh, the um, uh, the light bulb that we we it's hanged from the ceiling, and we use it to light up the the, the room. It looks like bulb like this, and uh, it gives off a large number of what? Now we need units here. It this uh, this unit or this measurement would not be enough to light up a room uh, uh, with a calm ambience. So which, which word? Lumens? Yeah, that's right. The Lumen. first one? Yeah, the first one, that's right. It would be lumens. This is the unit of measuring the light. Okay. Um, any questions? Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. You receive a homework for the uh, for those words that we have studied. It's the sheet. I'm, more, I'm using it anyway. So I have answered with you part of it. Okay.
Thank you for very much. I hope to enjoy your yes, enjoy your day. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Bye.